Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. It's happening. Ionic 5 is here. This is the P45, the special edition model. So big battery, all wheel drive, has everything the car can have. I will show you the car in a different video. Right now we're gonna do 130 kilometers an hour test. Bad thing, it's raining and it's 12 degrees or so, so it won't be amazing range. I will drive in this direction, turn around, see where we are and then turn the other side and, and somehow end up at Ionity and then I want to do a full charging test um, and then afterwards, like I said, maybe drive it a bit if I have time. Thank you very much to Jürgen Sangel, Altoha Sangel, he gave me this car today from now till 11 a.m. It's already 7.30, I will leave right now, we have to do the test and thank you for thank him, it's so amazing, I will put link in the description and banner here. Go buy your car there, he's amazing. Um, yes, let's go. Yeah, I'm on my way, I'm driving 133 which is GPS speed 130. I have the heat on 22, but driver only. And in auto, no AC. Um, the only problem I see is the rear window. There's no wipers and it's totally full because the car was standing in the rain for 15 minutes. Um, but we'll see. I have the, the rear heater now on, see if that helps. Oh, there's a car, I have to pass. Ooh. Come on, stupid self-steering. <laughs> not a fan of the self-steering thing. Really not. This is, but it's with every car, not just this one. I drove 30 kilometers, I will drive around 70, 80, I think, and then I turn around, go back the way. I started with 98%, I'm at 86% right now. And I can show you what the heat is taking because it has the same window as uh, Ionic and Kona and Enero. There we have it. 5% go to electronics, almost a kilowatt for electronics. I have the seat heater on one. 92% um, is for driving and 3% the heat is not taking anything right now. Cool, I like that. Oh, oh those poor bikers in the rain. I'm at 72%, I missed the 73, so I used 25% so far, and we drove 63, well it was 60 kilometers when it was 73%. Consumption is pretty high, 319. I will stay on this route, there's no speed limit at all. For, for the. So we'll go back to Landsberg where uh, Jürgen Sangel has his car dealership and then turn back around and then hopefully arrive with 10% at the charger or below that, that would be amazing. There we are, we are at 48%. I drove 117 kilometers. That would mean a range of 234 kilometers. Consumption is at that 314, so it stays that way. I already turned around. So I'm, I'm driving the same way again now to around, well, I have to see. Uh, we turned around at 52% at or so. So we'll turn around and put it in the navigation and then we'll see how much we can still drive. I know now it will go to around 230 kilometers. Still the same settings, by the way, we haven't seen the steering wheel. It's amazing, here's all your cruise control thing, but I make another video if I have time, time for that. Time, I'm seeing it in Scottish. Um, here's your, your travel assist that I could turn on now, and now it steers itself. Let's see when it beeps, if I'm not touching. Ooh, and it's very jerky. It moves around a lot, maybe in the rain. Ooh, it moves around strongly. 
it's not good. There it is, keeps hand off steering wheel and I turn it off. Yeah, it's, it's a bit too jerky. I'm not a biggest fan of self-steering functions. Yeah, the infotainment screen, the instrument cluster are amazing. I can see so many things. I mean, look at that. These are my, where am I? Uh, I pressed the wrong one. Let's do self-steering again. Uh, here are my different trips. I have three trips, but only two I can reset. That's okay. Then I have a compass, and if you have navigation in there, you can see navigation as well. Then information that you're using only the rear, rear motors. In eco mode, only the rear motors are being used, and how much you're using them. And tire pressure, that's it. And then here you have your drive assist. So this will be cruise control and your driver attention level and so on and your uh, traffic sign recognition. But the one we need is this one. Okay, I turned around again. I drove 169 kilometers. I'm at 23%, so we used 75%. So you can calculate. I'm too old and too concentrated on something else to calculate that now. Still driving 133. Heat is still at 22, but it barely uses anything. I turned the seat heat off because the seats are so much side support. I'm warm. Um, consumption is 313 watt hours per kilometer. It's 35 kilometers to the charger. If I'm not under 10%, I will go on and then charge on the other side. Something like that. We'll go on. It's a lot of fun. 364 people are here in the live stream watching this. How cool is that? There we are. I drove it down to 6%. Look at that. 6%. I drove 204.5 kilometers. Average consumption was 309. What does per kilometer? I will now look at Google Maps, what the distance was exactly, and then we calculate the range. Okay, Google Maps says it's 204 kilometers, so this car is spot on with its distance. I used 92% because I started with 98. That means overall uh, range would be 222 kilometers if driving at, what is it now, 13 degrees in the rain with 22 degrees heat. Huh. So we did this, we started here, we came back here. No, we, we, we came back, is the, we started on the other side. But there was an amazing test. Thanks Jürgen Sangl again for giving me this car. I will now do the full charging test. See if how, how I film this with the rain. I don't know yet. I have to see that and maybe do a driving test if I have time. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.